Zahidi. I found one of our pods. Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Outriders build video. In this video, I would like to share with you my bleed build version one. I finally got the final component that I wanted, but actually, after playing, I'm super shocked how well it performs and it could be better by the way some places I messed up uh, so I'll need to regrind the legendary gear and uh, get some things going but man this bleed build is just crazy thanks to it now I can uh, grind way more expeditions on uh, top tier uh, CT15 and get the gold reward so basically the top reward and uh, I'll show you basically in this video uh, the expeditions the best timers that I have the ones I could do before and the ones I'm doing now uh, then we'll walk through the weapons gear mods, then the skills, then the uh, class. So, still wasting time, jump right into it. And by the way, at the very end, we'll do a run in Scorchlands. So yeah, as I said, as soon as I got this build, I'm very uh, impressed with its performance. And uh, first I'd like to show you the expeditions. Uh, I got this build yesterday, so I haven't managed to do all, all of them yet. Uh, but I'll tell you the ones that I did before on gold. So before with my walking bomb build, I used to do archways of Enoch. Enoch. I do apologize if I mispronounce something. I am from Ukraine, so sometimes I do mispronounce stuff. So this one I usually did around maybe 15-ish, 16-ish minutes. And the Scorch Lines as well I was able to do on T15. And I used to do it closer to like 20-ish minutes, like two few seconds before it turns into silver. Uh, so this one's a, a pretty challenging. But now with the bleed build, uh, as you can see the timing has changed dramatically it's more easier but the thing is the build is more riskier so I can die so if I lose focus chances of me dying is pretty high so I'm trying to solve that problem too <laughs> alright and uh, as you can see I've uh, actually replayed uh, Paxian Homestead gold Stargrave gold camp plant gold Previously, I was not able to do it when they made the nerf, and now you have to complete it like in 10 minutes, 30 seconds, maybe something like that. I don't remember. So it's just like a few seconds before it switched to silver. I managed to do it. Actually, Boomtown as well. I might be able to do it on gold. Here is required six minutes, 30 seconds. But when I did my run yesterday, when I got the build, I messed up a little bit. I missed one guy, and I had to run all the way back, and then all the way back again. So I'm not even going to be able to do this. If I'm able to do Boomtown, man, that's crazy because I'll be able to do the run uh, in less than seven, uh, in six minutes, 30 seconds, get my gold and uh, get more legendaries. You know? So this is my aim, to do Boomtown uh, on gold. Uh, many others I haven't tried doing and Eye of the Storm, I did it one time with my walking bomb build. Uh, was struggling a lot with DPS. I could have done it, but I messed up a little bit at the end. Uh, but now I think I should be able to do it. But I'm just gonna wait until I'm gonna make the build even more powerful. Uh, personally, myself, I think Eye of the Storm is for team play. Besides, Eye of the Storm is very good for like uh, long range distance shooting, right? And my build is actually the opposite. It's uh, <laughs> come to me, come as closer as you can. <laughs> All right, so. With the current build, as you can see, uh, I'm doing way better in Expeditions for uh, T15. Alright, so let's go and start uh, chit-chatting about the mods, weapons, and stuff like that. Here I have a couple of uh, craziness. So my main weapon is actually this. <laughs> this is my main weapon. I don't use shotguns. I unload the entire clip before I start the Expedition. And the reason for that is the uh, skill Moaning Winds. So basically when you reload a weapon it does 380,000 damage but with all my anomaly power it does way more than that. You will see that in my run. So basically the logic behind this is I shoot out the clip, watch what happens when I shoot the final bullet and start reloading. You'll see a blast. That's That thing does damage. So then I unclip this as well and that thing does damage. So right now with the pistols, right, 
on the pistols, the main mod is Fortress. Fortress does uh, f receive up to 43 damage bonus based on your armor. Uh, that applies to everything. So whatever damage output you're doing, it's increased thanks to Fortress. So skills do more damage. Uh, these mods do more damage. So everything, right? So my firepower is low, but the good thing about the pistols, they do critical, like they have a good chance of doing criticals and that triggers my other mod which is arms and anomaly which increases my anomaly power by 20k for 6 seconds right so the logic is I quickly shoot, shoot, shoot and when I know that it's time to make a blast and there's a lot of enemies next to me I switch, explode, switch, explode almost a million damage right there within a second so that's really cool and like I already ha had this in my walking bomb someone commented it might be an exploit or whatever well it's not it's a mod a clever mod use. <laughs> Infinite ammo is crazy. <laughs> this is nothing compared to that. Uh, okay, so I think I got the the guns clear. Okay, good. Let's start with armor. First, armor said that you need is the uh, seismic commander. That's what it's called. Uh, you need three pieces of it, and it will increase damage towards uh, enemies with bleed by fifty percent. So this is uh, something I'm still working on, right? So, my helmet, this is my helmet, increase anomaly power for 20 seconds when I initiate a critical shot. And Impaler, uh, which basically allows me to activate the skill one more time before the cooldown starts. Uh, here, uh, Palisade, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Basically, this, uh, this skill is actually a single target, but thanks to this mod, it actually targets two more enemies that are in the range. So that's actually pretty dope because uh, this skill can also help me with my uh, survivability and essentially do a lot of damage. <laughs> Wait until we're going to get to the damage class. Uh, then Rivers of Blood, uh, which increases the damage by 50% to enemies affected with bleed right so this does even more damage and taint blood which increases my damage by 25% if uh, the target has bleed uh, status on it and basically that 25% damage it also applies to whatever damage I'm doing so neither my mod damage neither my skills so that that's actually a really good addition then for the gloves I got ground punch and actually I, I'm I'm using another earthquake which extends it for 60% more radius. I just want to show you the amount of damage I could do with this specific skill if I'll have this mod. This is another mod that I want to fit in somewhere here, but I just can't. Uh, I'll explain in a sec uh, once we get to the skills and to the mods. Uh, at Zahidi. And basically, I'll show you that 60% uh, mod. Second quake allows me to initiate uh, the quake one more time before the cooldown. So I already have two two mods of that of this nature. So I'm out. I'm, I can do the quake three times. Bam, bam, bam. And uh, essentially, I need bleed. So the quake enemies who are hit by the earthquake, uh, they also get the bleed status, which this entire build is is in need. And bleed is actually my second thing that. Uh, heals me, which is good. Well, allows me to be a little bit more in survival zone. So the mod that I was talking about is for the earthquake is here, and on the video that you will see me plan, it's I actually have that mod. I don't have the damage mod. So over here we go. Then we go uh, mod gear, and this one right here. Like previously, I thought this is like shit mod. <laughs> Excuse my language, but in reality, it is oh yeah mod. Basically, this skill is able to reach targets when they're like below you, above you. Like they're like you know in human expeditions, there are sometimes like fortresses or like uh, underground dun dungeons, and you're like in the middle zone. If you look on the map on the right corner and place the dots in the same direction and smash the skill, the skill is gonna reach all the zones so it's gonna hit the middle zone where you are at and the enemies at the upstairs zone where uh, you can not actually reach because you know it's upstairs you need to find ladders to get up there so it really helps to uh, eliminate targets from areas where you know it's you're gonna waste a couple of good seconds to get there plus the reach 60% it actually feels 
because I once removed it and I felt the pain. So I'm actually going to mod this back so I don't forget. But yeah, I really am trying to get uh, some more mods in here, fit in, and trying to. So version 2 is coming. <laughs> You'll see this baby in action, man. You're going to love it. Alright, so with the mods, I think I'm all set. I've explained the set bleed. Yes, I've explained pretty much everything. Alright, skills. Oh yeah, with that mod, this thing almost does 400 damage, plus my anomaly power, so it will do what much more. But right now, it does around like 300-ish, I think, because I, I don't look on the numbers because I'm trying always not to die. <laughs> That's another problem I'm trying to solve. So, Earthquake, the main thing, interrupts, does damage, mass damage, so it's beautiful. Uh, Golem for my oh shit moments, and uh, from my class trains, also increases my anomaly power by 40-45%. Uh, we'll get to it in a sec. So yeah, this is uh, definitely, I use it for protection and for uh, damage dealing. Uh, and essentially, uh, this interrupt and inflict bleed uh, and is really hard hitter. Uh, plus, if you actually manage to put them on the pike, the only way you can do that is when they have low health and you can initiate like a one shot, one kill, only then they go on the pike. Uh, that also grants you a powerful bonus to your armor and health regen. Uh, wait, to all allies? Oh man, I misread that, damn it. <laughs> so, it does not help me. No! <laughs> Kakarot game. All this time I thought it was helping me as well. <laughs> I need to work on my server ability, man. But anyway, let's continue. A moment of huh, epic fail. <laughs> All right. So essentially, we're going downwards since we're going anomaly build, uh, anomaly power, skill reduction, uh, bo boost to anomaly power, and using protection skills, uh, resistance piercing, bleed duration is a must must because bleed damage heals me you are healed for 25 percent of your bleed damage so yeah the uh, bleed duration is a must must oh yeah also afflated enemy deals uh, 30 percent more damage blood battle executioner is also very nice increases damage by 20 percent against enemies below 30 percent of health uh, more uh, skill leech um, more protection uh, depending on my anomaly power, so armor boosts. Uh, increase armor by 20% and resistance by 20% for 10 seconds when your skill ends. So another protection. Uh, more damage and seismic skills damage by 50% increases. So that's the class. I think I've covered pretty much everything and I haven't missed out because on anything because I don't script my videos. <laughs> so once again thanks all for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by youtube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so if you got some positive negative feedback feel free to comment just don't swear uh, maybe if you got any suggestions also please do comment or if you have a kind of similar build and maybe you would like to recommend me to replace something or maybe you, you took something good out of this one but anyway uh, all useful links are down in the video description to my Twitch Discord. Discord over 800 uh, members. Feel free to join. Just read the rules. Otherwise, most probably you're gonna get banned if you uh, break our rules. So we're over 800 members, and I'm planning to actually create a separate category for this game because this looks like it's gonna be my second favorite game and second game that I'd like to make uh, content for this channel. Anyway. That's where I'm going to stop rumbling and uh, let's go into that uh, expedition run on T-15 Scorch Lanes. Party time!
right, Zahidi. I found one of our pods. And as a bonus, we can all start bathing again. Excellent. That water's gonna be a lifesaver, Outrider. I'll be sure to bring people the good news. Outrider detected. Access granted. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go.